Welcome back to the Ghost Kid Gray here, and today we are going to continue our Leaf Green playthrough. Now, to update you guys, I decided to go and do a little bit of grinding, get everybody up to about level 19, because we got a rival fight coming up here soon, and we're gonna track through Viridian Force in this episode. So, yeah, we're looking at our Bulbasaur here. It's just got nothing's really changed. Growl, tackle, leech seed, normal shit. Our uh, wonderful Mankey here learned low kick, and he's just tearing shit up right now. There's just no stopping him. And finally, our Pidgey learned Gust at level 9. Took forever. I was wondering when the hell he was going to learn a goddamn flying move, but now we have it. So that's about it. And you know what? Right after I got done recording, I realized something. I forgot something. You probably realize what it is by now. I forgot to grab the map. So we're, before we go and do anything else, we're going to run down here, back to Pallet Town, and grab the good old map from our wonderful rival's little sister, who is helpful, and yet doesn't have a name. What's up with that? Why does she have no name? It's just weird. No name kids giving us maps and shit. It's just weird. No one else thinks that weird? No? No one no, no thinks that's weird? Okay. Yep. No, oh, Daisy, she has a name. Holy shit, that shows how much I know. It's kind of funny, everything I say, it's always the opposite. It's, it's always... Obviously, I don't know what I'm talking about. Because, you know, it's always wrong. Oh, Rotatus. Now, I believe our rival battle that we're about to have here is up here just before we get into Viridian Forest. I'm not entirely sure. It's either before we go into it or at the end of it. I can't remember specifically, but it's somewhere in here. And we're going to go knock him out here. Oh, run. We don't, we don't need no Rattatas right now. Don't need no Rattatas. Um, and I think all he's got when we fight him should be just a Charmander, in our case. He'll have the opposite starter, or the advanta uh, advantageous starter, however you want to say that. And a Pidgey, I believe. I think. Maybe. I don't think he has his Rattata yet. Yet. Which, actually, let me go ahead and switch you. So I don't want you to leave, because I'm pretty sure he'll leave with the Charmander. If not, then... Actually, you know what I'm gonna do. Because I'm smart. I'm gonna go buy some, buy some potions. Because... We need some. Um, and Viridian Forest today, I don't think there's anything in there that we really want to get. Pokemon-wise. I think we're pretty, pretty much... Pretty much good on that for a while. I'll take a look at a guide or something later to see what we're, what's what's on the horizon in terms of getting new Pokemon. Because uh, right now I think we're pretty much, pretty much good for a while. We've got both Mankey and um, Bulbasaur there to uh, to take care. Anything over here? To take care of. Um, Yeah, Rain City Storage a lot. To take care of good old uh, Brock here. I want that out of the way. Alright, Route 2. Have you ever wondered what these little what these little things are supposed to be? If these are supposed to be paths, they really don't make a lot of sense. I mean, I, I, that's what they look like to me. Like little dirt paths, like where people walk and shit. And yet, they're all... I mean, look at this. I mean, people don't walk here, but they sure shit jump off right here and decide to go, Oh, oh, we got this. Nah, it just doesn't make any sense. It's like they designed this shit and it's all out of whack. But anyway, into the forest we go. Look at that, it's all pretty. Let's do a screenshot. 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 Screenshot of that shit. Oh. You and your friends are all out here, Pokemon battling and stuff. And I have no idea where I'm going, really. It's been a long time since I've been in here, and my memory is terrible as it is. 
shit, this place is big though. Uh-oh. Look at that, it's a metapod. It's a metapod. We don't want no metapods, we don't want to deal with that shit right now. Oh cool, that's ah, useful. And a Caterpie. It's one thing I, I, I've always kind of disliked about Pokemon. When you start through the game, they kind of give you like the same general shit to start with. I mean, you get your starter, you get a flying type, which the flying type I'm okay with because the flying types, like in the first route or two or whatever, are usually, usually pretty good. However, when they start, you know, like that first little force with a bunch of crappy bug type Pokemon that gets you through about like what the first three or four gems and then kind of you know start to suck I'm not okay with that like I, I don't know it, it bugs me because I like to start games and play with the same Pokemon all the way through hey kid is this kid gonna fight or are you just gonna piss off every Caterpie in the woods oh god that's not what I want I guess we're not gonna fight that kid. Potion. All right, I'll take a potion. And another caterpillar. Should probably should have bought some damn repel. Don't really need to fight any of this shit right now. Maybe, maybe for the next episode. Uh, the next episode, because you know, after that, I believe we'll be able to do Brock. At the in the next episode. Here we go. Hey, kid. What's going on? Eh, you're not getting too jelly, are you? But if this is the case, actually, we're gonna do. I'm gonna change shit up here. Oops. Man, I've not quite gotten used to this controller yet, so I'm all all over the place trying to do shit quick, and it just ain't working. All right, still, let's go fuck some shit up. Oh, poison sting. Oh no, I forgot about that. I forgot about poison. Should brought some poison heal, huh? Did I just say bug catcher dick? Oh, Rick. Okay. I was gonna say, bug catcher dick. That just sounds awkward, does it not? Shit, this guy's gonna be pretty high level before we're out of here. Okay, can we go? Pretty sure. Oh no! Actually, before I go any farther, since we got nothing but bug catchers here, I can't. Can't jam out if you're a Pokemon. I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, you are crazy. And who lets their like freaking ten-year-old kids just like wander around and shit in the woods? I mean, I remember if I'd have done shit like that when I was that age, I'd have gotten the shit kicked out of me. As if, like, you know, Sasquatch or some shit would come out and eat me. It's probably safe from the woods and he's not in your freaking neighborhood name anymore. No, I don't want to change. Oh. What is with this? Okay. God damn, Stella's gonna be like level 12 before long. No, I just go out there and eat all those little bugs. Ain't no need to set up. Oh! That's not hard. Speaking of bug type Pokemon using Harden, if you haven't seen the episode, it's like the first season of Pokemon. If you haven't seen the episode where Ash and all of his infinite brilliance fights that other that other bug trainer kid. I don't remember his freaking name. And they're all throwing out the metapod and they're like, ah, harden, and then they're all like, ah, tackle, and then you know they're there all day and Misty starts sending herself. That's one of the funniest episodes of Pokemon. Oops, yeah. Hope you tell me how far I was from getting out of here. Antidote, that'll come in handy. 
I don't like Canada. See, see, once again, the trails. They just go up to the spot and just end. It's like, everyone just gets there and just says, fuck this shit, I'm going home. Why do I have this problem? Problem? Feeling that this is gonna lead to a dead end. And also one thing I never really liked about like the beginning force is like all the trainers have pretty much the exact same Pokemon. One thing that was kind of cool about Gen 6 is at least it had like the, the Panpour and Pansage and all. I mean, I don't like those Pokemon at all, really. I, I do not care for them. But at least they've got all of them in there and they're able to, to, you know, mix it up a little bit. I think there isn't there even somebody in there with like a Pikachu or some shit. You know, it makes it makes it kind of nice rather than, rather than just fighting all these damn Kakunas, Metapods, and Caterpies and shit. Oh, so much grass. Although they look more like bushes. You ever notice that they kind of use pretty much the same model for all the old Zelda games? And the, the uh, Pokemon games for the bushes? Or at least they're very, very similar before people get, you know, all pissed off and start trying to say I'm wrong. Which I'm wrong a lot, if you haven't noticed that already. Let's see, now everyone gets up here and starts pacing back and forth because they don't know what to do. Let's see if this kid wants to fight. Did you know the Pokemon evolve? Oh my god, no I did not. Thanks for telling me. I remember when, you know, when you were playing this game for the first time. Actually, really, not necessarily like Gen 1. But any Pokemon game for the first time, you're like... Oh, it's, it starts evolving and you shit your pants because you don't know what the hell is going on. And then you accidentally hit the B button or some dumb shit out of, you know, while you're panicking. And then, you know, shit just goes downhill. And you get all scared. You're like, oh shit. Then it starts doing it again. And you shit yourself some more. And then you gotta take a shower. Because, you know, you've done nothing but shit yourself all day because you're playing Pokemon. Look at that. Caterpie. Little guest. And we're not gonna try and get ourselves a Pikachu in here, by the way. That would, that would be a bit much. And I'm not really a big fan of Pikachu. I remember, you know, when I played through the games the first time, I was like, eh, yeah. It's an electric rat, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's kind of cool seeing the show back when it all, you know, came out too with Pikachu because Pikachu was kind of different. I mean, you didn't see it all that much in the game. You know, at least I did. You know, I saw it. I think I got it the first time I played through the game, and I'm like, eh. And I was like, eh, it's all right. I mean, I fell in love with electric types back then. That was my favorite type for the longest time. Although there weren't very many electrics, although Magnemite was the shit. I didn't really care for Voltorb. Might use a Voltorb in this LP. Might see if I can get one. I look for one of those. I never use one of those. That, that could be. That could be fun. Oh shit! Be a quick attack now. And I wish there were more priority moves. I wish there was like priority and status effect moves like combined together, like a, you know, quick attack with poison or some shit like that. Or at least if you had, you know, items that let you have a chance to poison uh, your opponent's Pokemon because that that would be cool. Oh shit! Sorry, I'm kind of watching some soccer right now while I play this. Dad almost put a goal in on Argentina. Holy shit! Holy shit! this wheel. Alright, last trainer before we're out of here. I'll get your Sammy! Fucking Sammy. Let me guess. Gus. It's a good thing we got 35 Gus. Shit. We are running out here soon. Be, there should be a rival battle before the gym battle, and I'm gonna try and do that before and, and save the gym battle for for next time, because that'd be a bit much and it'd be a little bit of a long episode. I'm gonna try and keep my episodes 15, you know, to 25 minutes at most. Try and keep them reasonable. 
Um, mostly because I, I, I know how it is having, you know, watching LPs that make long episodes, which are fine, but there's sometimes there's days where you just you just ain't got the time to watch what the hell is anyone in there for? You know, you ain't just ain't got the time to watch a forty minute episode or, you know, you just need to watch a ten minute episode of something and jet real quick. I don't know where I'm going by the way, I'm just kinda wondering here. I, I don't know if you've noticed yet, but I really have a hard time multitasking with this. It's hard for me to sit here and ramble on like I do and focus on what I'm doing in the game. That's why you see me stop while I'm talking, so I'm like, especially if I'm really getting into something good. I'm like, oh shit, I gotta finish that thought before it leaves me. And i am you know, got nothing but awkward silence to fill in the time. Okay. Yeah, go down here. Can we do the gym? Can we do the gym yet? No, let's not do that right now, because, I mean, the gym episode's gonna be a whole lot of, like, friggin' nothing. You know what, I think it is. I think he's out on the way out of here, isn't he? You are, what are you again? The museum. Oh, yes, the museum. Fun. Fun. Funny fact that we run into that now. That, you should know, the fossil Pokemon are some of my favorites of all time. Like, I remember when I got Kabuto and Omanite and shit back in the day. Those things were awesome. I always had a thing when I was a kid for, for oh, you're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challenges, follow me. I don't really want to follow you, but anyway, I guess I'll follow you because I got nothing else to do. And I'm just a little drone because I'm a lost kid and I really don't know where to go But I guess I'll walk all the way over here with you and then maybe we should hold hands or cuddle or something or Do you have the right stuff to take on Brock? I don't, I don't, I don't really wanna, uh, uh, I don't know. I'm scared. Somebody Hold me Hmm, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just do it now. We want to do this gym battle now because Cut it a little short. I really don't want to do that. Fuck that shit. I'm gonna just switch out. Um, let's lead. Oh shit! You know what? I'm gonna do this. It's probably gonna suck. Just, just so you know. Just so you know. Let's see, we'll see where this kid's sitting at, and see if we can't can't get ourselves a level up and a play and move on. Bulbasaur over here. Because unfortunately, shit like Leech Seed doesn't really do all that much damage. Although it's one of my favorite moves. I, mean, Geodude, I like Geodude. We might get ourselves a Geodude. We might get ourselves a Geodude. I Leech Seed that shit. Or I might actually tag team his stuff. Because what does he get? Like level 12s, level 14s, or some shit? Like his Onyx is level 14 or something? I might actually do that right now. I might just go Leech Seed him with. With the Bulbasaur here, and then switch out the Granker and low kick his face. Oh no, you gotta tackle. Damn, you are strong. But we got the Leech Seed up, so Granker's gonna be kind of okay. Although he has like no defense. Which is interesting, because I like a lot of defense in my Pokemon. Which is probably why I might, I might go get a Geodude here, because we got a Geodude coming up and. I don't know the hell that mountain's calling and shit, right? Something like that, I don't know. That's what I Get out. Get out. So they got all that experience. Ah, sand true. Yeah, we'll switch. We'll just, well, actually, we're gonna have to stay in with, with the Bulbasaur, maybe. He can handle it. Although that sand true will most likely spam the shit out of sand attack. Oh, look at that. But we'll get the Leech Seed in first, so he's, he's gonna go down either way. And that's why I like shit like Leech Seed and Toxic. I mean, I'm not one of these people that just goes out there to Oko everything. I'm kind of, you know, slow and steady wins the race. I like to set up and, and you know, go with shit like that. Just to, not necessarily just to mess with people, but to, you know, it, I don't know. It's just a viable strategy in my in my opinion. Like, moves like that where you're just upping your defense, not really one of the things that I really care about all that much. But, you know, I mean, they are they are effective. Like I said, Sand Attack is one of those moves that I like a lot. But, you know, that's also part of setting setting your shit up. Instead of just buffing yourself, I mean, it, I don't know, setting up the field instead of buffing yourself or, you know, 
two different things, in my opinion. Look at that, he's just gonna decurl all day. Oh, I'm surprised he hasn't been spamming sand attack, honestly. I mean, I would with a sand shrew. I mean, sand shrew, and I don't know if anyone realizes this, and then I think uh, sand shrew is banned in, in one of the competitive tiers for some dumbass reason, but he's a freaking monster with his, with his ability. Well, whichever one it is, Sand Veil or Sand Rush, whichever one you have, it doesn't really matter. They're both freaking ridiculous. You know, but you toss up a Sandstorm or you run one with a T-Tar. I mean, it's pretty much over with because you can just drop an Earthquake on him. You know, or and like a Poison Chap, and that's something too. Sand Shrew, if you're in Gen 6 and you're looking for a Pokemon to run through the game with, Sand Shrew can learn giant myriad of shit and he can set up for himself like there's no tomorrow. Also, like I said, if you run it with a T-Tar, and a T-Tar's ability with Sandstorm or whatever, and then you switch into Sand Shrew with a bunch of, you know, random shit like Poison Jab, Earthquake, everything that's powerful as hell. Pretty much you're gonna roll in there and just destroy stuff. There we go, there's Fine Whip. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Camper Lamb. Light years isn't time, it measures distance. No one really cares. Alright. Let's save this shit, because... You know, yeah. That's that's what we do here. We save shit. All right. Actually, looking at the time, we're gonna save Brock for next time. We're gonna stop right here. Well, I'll probably go heal. But anyway, we're gonna end our episode right here. Next time, I will do Brock, and I guess we'll be getting out of this town. I'll I'll take a look ahead, and we'll figure out where to go from there, and look at more some some more Pokemon, see what we can grab down the road and whatnot. Anyway, I am done for today. I'm out. Remember, pants are optional. <laughs>